Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com, and today we're going to show you how to permanently root and gain S off on the T-Mobile MyTouch 4G slide using Revolutionary. Okay, so before you begin, you need to uh, install these fast boot drivers, so click on that. Save that to your computer. Once it's done, you're going to click on it. Okay, and then once that's installed, you're going to install HTC Sync. So click on that. Save that to your computer and wait for that to download. Okay, once that's downloaded, you're going to click on it, run it. Okay, click install and wait for it to install all of the files. Okay, now on your device, you're going to click Menu, Settings, scroll down to Applications, then Development, and USB Debugging, we're gonna turn on and click OK. Okay, so since we're using the revolutionary um, program, we do require a beta key since it still is in beta form. Uh, at least at the time of writing this. By the time you get to this, maybe it doesn't require a beta key, but for now it does. So to get a beta key, we do need our serial number and our H boot version of our device. So to get our serial number, we're going to turn off the device, take out the battery, and then underneath the battery, you'll see a bunch of different numbers, IMEI, SN, PN. SN is our serial number, so you're gonna take that number, don't take mine, it's not gonna do you any good. Um, take yours and write it down so you don't forget it. After that, we're going to put our battery back in our device. And hold down volume down and power while we turn it on. And keep holding until it gets this strange screen called HBoot. And at the very top, you'll see the word H boot and then one dot something dot something dot something. That is your H boot version, so you want to write that down as well. Uh, and then using those, we can get our beta key like this. Okay, now once we have our H boot version serial number, uh, you put them into the revolutionary website where you actually downloaded or you're about to download the program and click operating system, Windows, for me at least. Your device, this is the 4G slide. The HBoot version, there is only one, um, but whatever, put whatever it said in your HBoot in here. And then your serial number, you're gonna put down there at the bottom. Once you've done that, you click generate a key, and it's going to give you this key. We're going to copy that and paste it into Notepad for us to have. Okay, now we're going to temporarily root the device. So we're gonna download the Freevo exploit. I click on this link here and saving that to our desktop just so we can find it easily and wait for that to download. Okay, then you're going to plug the device in via USB cable. And do not mount the SD card. So you need to pull this down. Click on disk drive. Change it from disk drive to charge only, and then hit done. Okay, now that we have that plugged in, we're going to right click our temp root folder here and extract all. Uh, that is fine. Wait for it to finish extracting. Okay, after that's been extracted to its own little folder here, there's something we have to do first. We have to go to our taskbar over here and find HTC Sync, which we see here, and right-click it and hit Exit. And that little icon should disappear. And once it's done that, we can double-click our temporary folder we just extracted, open it up, 
and you'll see this run me freevo root dot bat file. We're going to right click it and hit run as administrator. And then wait for it to do its thing. It's going to say that an error occurred. That's fine. It should continue. Uh, and you're going to let this run until it says that it was successful in running the exploit. So press any key to continue. We're going to hit enter. It should close the command prompt and we can now go to the next step. Okay, so now that we have temp root on our device, we want to get permanent root and s off. So we're going to do that with a tool called revolutionary. So we're going to click on this link here to be taken to their site. Scroll down, download it for Windows, and we'll also save it to our desktop. And once that's downloaded, we're going to right click, hit extract all. We're going to browse because we want to put this in the same folder as temp root. So click on temp root and then the temp root folder inside. And then click OK. Hit extract. You can hit copy and replace on anything that it asks you to copy and replace. and wait for it to finish. Okay, and if you get a, some type of an issue or a conflict or something where it just doesn't seem to want to copy into this folder, um, it's because ADB is still running. Uh, so all you have to do is hit Control Delete on your keyboard, start Task Manager, and you'll see up here at the very top, it'll say ADB something something EXE whatever. Click that and hit End Process, and then extract this again inside here and hit uh, Replace All Files, and now it should work. Okay, now we have our seal number handy. We're going to right click revolutionary.exe, hit run as administrator. Here's the beta key it wants us to enter. I'll see if it lets me paste it. No, it does not. Okay, so you have to enter it in manually. Make sure that your letters are the right case because I do believe it's case sensitive. Okay, then after a while, it will say success. And here it will say, do you want to download and flash Clockwork Mod Recovery? We're going to say yes, and hit enter, and wait for it to download and install Clockwork Mod. Okay, and once it's done, it should automatically close out the command prompt. That's how you know it finished. And we can go to the next step, which is to check that we've flashed the Clockwork Mod properly. Okay, once it's all done, uh, you should see the pink revolutionary up at the top. It should say S off next to the word ship. Then we're going to boot into recovery now. So to do that, we're going to unplug the device. We're going to take out the battery. And put it back in after a couple of seconds. Turn the device over, and we're going to turn it back on by holding down volume down and power. Keep holding it until we get to this screen, and you can let go. And now you're going to use the volume buttons to go down to recovery, power to select it, and wait for it to boot into recovery mode. As long as you get this screen here, it means you have recovery mode flashed, so we're good there. Now the next step is we're going to flash the latest super user uh, so that we have permanent root all the time within our device. So to do 
that, we are going to scroll down with the volume buttons to mounts and storage. And scroll down to mount USB storage. And we're going to plug the device back in via USB. And doing that, the SD card should pop up on your computer. Okay, now you can see that the SD card over here has popped up on our computer. And over here on the left, we have our site. So we're going to download the root.zip file that we need. And we'll save that to our desktop as well. Now you're gonna leave it as a .zip file. You're not going to extract it, but you are going to take it and again, leave it as a .zip and drag it over to the root of our SD card. So just on the SD card itself, so it should just be removable disk, not inside any of these folders, just on the SD card, just like that. Once you've done that, you can close this and move over to our phone and select unmount and unplug the device from the computer. Hit go back, scroll down to install zip from SD card, then choose zip from SD card. And then we're gonna go to the su.2.3.6. whatever file and click power to select it, hit yes. And it should do all these things. And at the very bottom say, install from SD card complete. Then you can hit go back. And finally, reboot system now. Okay, now eventually your phone will reboot um, to your normal home screen. And you can open your app drawer and you should see super user with a little Skull and crossbones guy there. Uh, if you see that, you're all set. It means you now have S off, you have a custom recovery, and you have permanent root access. So if you're curious what to do with these things now that you have them, if you scroll down to the bottom of this post, you'll see flash a custom ROM, uh, which allows you to flash a whole new operating system if you want onto the device, different versions of Android, minus HTC Sense with some other UI, whatever, um, overclocked, undervolted, all that fun stuff. So click on that link there beneath this procedure and that'll show you how to load a ROM now that you have all these things. Enjoy.